diligence before I make any allegations. I'm a lawyer and I've been one for 30 years, right? During the primaries, same thing happened. Right after the primaries, my boards were being taken down all over the city, right? Now that INEC has lifted the ban on campaigns, we started installing our boards all over Benin City. I just returned from Lagos yesterday only for me to hear that boards that we have just started installing around Benin have been taken down again. There's a board at the Stadium Road at Kenswa Junction. Two-sided board. One side is an ad from another organization. One side is an ad from my campaign. Only mine was taken down. Now we are on the Kenwa Road by the Uniben uh, main gates. I had a two-sided board right here, taken down by the Oredo Local Government uh, Council. I sent a message to the chairman today, uh, Mr. Obaseki, who happens to be a brother or cousin or relative of the governor. And I told him that my boards have been taken down. There is an individual in the Oredo local government called Charles Ega River. He's supposed to be a member of the revenue department. He's the one who sent messages to my billboard installers, telling them to take down the boards. I was even told that he had the temerity to suggest that the board on Akenzua is a route that the governor takes regularly. So we must take my board down because the governor takes that route regularly. It is ridiculous. This is the kind of stunt that this government pulls all the time. We are going into a contest. The playing field should be level. Look behind. You can see a board belonging to the NNPP. It's standing. And it's not only this location. We have just received information from Ikobaoha local government that our board, the board that we just installed on Ramad Park, we must take it down. Meanwhile, PDP candidate, his board is all over the place. We are even told I'm going towards Uselu Lagos Road now. Same problem. They are taking down my boards. And these things cost money, effort, and time. What are they afraid of? So I am not here to complain. I don't complain. I'm here to issue a warning to those who are behind this, to Governor Obaseki yes. and his minions. They are ready. These local government chairmen who are the product of a sham election, nothing happened on the 2nd of September. We know that they are illegal occupants of those seats. And they are coming now to pull down my billboards. Nobody has the monopoly of brigandage. Never. I'm not a pushover. Nobody will do this. They know. Nobody. That is why we are going from billboard to billboard. Of your notice, local government. The chairman is calling say, by way. Took down my board at uh, S&T, four-sided board that we paid millions of naira for. Took it down and blacklisted the board so that the board couldn't be, would not be given to us. I have similar incidents like that all over the city because they know that they are not the people's choice. But pulling down billboards will not face me or my supporters. This election is a referendum. Enough of this nonsense. So I just want to put it on record right, giving to us. I have similar incidents like that all over the city because they know that they are not the people's choice. But pulling down billboards will not face me or my supporters. This election is a referendum. Enough of this nonsense. So I just want to put it on record that this is what is going on. I will not accept it. Never. I will not accept Never. it. Never. So I have asked my, my, my contractors to put back the boards. All the boards that have been taken down, I have told them, and in the next 24 to 48 hours, the boards will back up. And I dare them. I dare any of them try to it try it again. again. Election is about uh, contestation. You know, you have to contest an election to win. You see, uh, Gordon Obaseki is known for intimidation. You can see that there are other people around here. He didn't touch it. He knows that the man who is out here to win is Olumide Akpata. But this cannot intimidate us. But we are sending a warning, a very direct warning to the governor, that if you pull any people again, I personally will lead my squad and pull on the people because nobody has monopoly to bound it. My name is Ultimate Eagles. We paid for this for all four sides. We paid over six million naira for this board, all four sides. We put our ads, they took it down. We put it up again, they took it down. Then they now claim that they have blacklisted the board. Today, see, there's an ad there. Glen Village. There's an ad there. Where people speak, definitely you will surely know the, the honest that is in there. So when the, the very day that I watched his interview, I, I was convinced that this man he ring me well for the people. And I pray so shall he be. I see him here now. He's the man of the people. With that people. Where you see, you know that this man is a very simple man. Yeah. Oh,
I'm running for the office of governor and I intend to win. You will win. With the help of the people. Yes. So we have to let the people know what who we are and what we are. That is what is the whole essence. The law forbids the local government from doing what they're doing. The electoral law forbids them from doing what they're doing. They are trying to disadvantage me and my party. And we will resist it. We will resist it. I just want the public to know that this is what is being what, what is happening in Edo State under the leadership of Governor Godwin Obaseki. And this will not be allowed to stand.